G'day everyone, and welcome to This Is The Police 2. It released two days early, and that was due to... This Is The Police 1, the first game, released two days late. So they decided to put this one out early, as a homage to that. So here we are, um, about the game. Similar to This Is The Police 1, and where you interpret the law as you see fit, you run. You get to run the sheriff's department of the little town of Sharpwood, and try to keep out of prison yourself. Manage cops, in de- investigate, interrogate, and incarcerate. In this story-driven mixture of adventure, strategy, and turn-based tactical combat. So the there's a little bit different. Elements which we'll go through once we get into the game. So it's pretty damn cool. So, welcome to Sharpwood, a cold and harsh border town riven with violence where no one is completely innocent. Smugglers, gangs and screaming populace call this town home to maintain the police. An order, the young sheriff Lily Reed, voiced by Sarah Hamilton. Is in charge. Or so we think. So, there you go. I won't spoil the surprise. I'll leave a link to the game description in the description of this video down below. And without further ado, we are going to start a new game. I did have a quick muck around with it to see what happens in the first in the start, a lot of cutscenes in the first uh, in the first episode. So I apologise for that, but there's a lot of cutscenes to lay the foundation for the story. So at approximately one in the morning, the Sharper Police Department received an anonymous phone call. The source said he knew where he could find the headquarters of the Neckties, a gang of drug traffickers that recently arrived in town. Anonymous information is rarely reliable, but Sheriff Wells shutting down the neckties was the department's primary goal. So he immediately went to the address indicated, along with two officers for backup. Now I'm just going to. I should have done this first. Just close a couple of things. But I did have some issues with. Also, we're going to make sure music's off. Good. Uh, apply. I had some issues with the cutscenes stuttering, so I've closed a couple of applications to make sure there's plenty of. There's no resource issues. So, anyway, this is where we are. Turn one. So, this is new, where you get to control the officers and move through the arrest procedures. So, it's kind of cool. So,. Let's move forward and get some cover. We have a visual. Ooh, there's a bad guy over there. Nice. Now, send this officer up here to hide behind the logs. Good, good, good. Down, get down. Okay, don't stick your head out. Oh, get in there, take cover. We have visual. Ooh, we got another bad guy. Excellent. And it's the bad guy's turn. Dum, dum, dum. Here comes the bad guy. Uh oh, shoot him, shoot him. Oh, we just stopped short of seeing our uh, intrepid officer here. Oh, those two have disappeared. Turn two. All right, so let's creep in and see if we can arrest this guy. Dum, dum, dum. He's going to spot us, obviously. Now we get to stun him. Whack the criminal with our truncheon. Roger. Oh, cop that, son. Book him, Dano. Get on the ground. Nice, very good, very good. Alright. Creep around this way. Creeping, creeping. Alright, bad guy's turn again. Oh, here's a bad guy. Ooh, what are we gonna do to him? Turn three. Alright. Uh, let's go to cover there. 580. 
Oh, we've got a new guy. Oh, what can we do? Oh, tase him. Cops can carry other non-lethal gear aside from truncheons and weapons. A taser effectively stuns at a distance, but each shot requires a cartridge. Roger. Oh, tased. I like it. Tased in the back. Good deal. So let's move up. Move up, move up, move up. Good, 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 good. Stack up. Alright, enemies can not only see you, but also hear you. If an offender sees you from afar or hears a suspicious noise, be sure to leave his post and check the area. Okay, let's creep up on him. Oh, stun him. Oh, pepper spray. Yes, effectively stun. Highly reliable. The spray gets into your eye. Do not attempt to rinse with water. Roger. Oh, pepper spray for the win. They can't do anything because they are incapacitated. Nice. All right, turn four. Bum, bum, bum. Book him down. On the ground. That's it. Like, good work, officer. Hide behind the railroad car. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh, there's bodies over here. Prepare to breach. Prepare to breach. Da -da -da -da. Okay. Oh, hung a bear up there. Looks good. It's all very, um, the long dark, the graphics. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, oh, cuff him. That's it. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Stay there. Yeah. All right, bad guys getting a turn. Don't get to see what the bad guys did there. All right, let's go to the window. See what's happening in the window. We have a visual. Oh, visual on a bad guy. Mm -hmm. Alright, so how do we engage? Roger. Bum, 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 na, na, na. Alright, take down the door. So here we go. Special abilities. Battering ram. Okay. Alright, so shoot the culprit. Okay. Nice. Don't forget to aim before... Okay, some parts of the body are harder to hit than others. Oh, I don't see the point of shooting in the hand. I'm going to shoot him in the head! Or the chest. Alright, so we can only shoot this guy in the hand. Roger. This is a, um... Predetermined... This is a predetermined, um... 590. It's a predetermined fait accompli, I think. Oh, right. oh we got the window. Alright. Break open the window. Alright. Roger. Okay, get in there. Don't particularly like this book. Break down the door. Roger. Oh, shots fired and we don't know what's going on. Okay. Interesting. Well, there you go. November 21. Continue. But today I wasn't so lucky. I mean, it He's wasn't curious. just a regular funeral, was it? Oh, Sharpwood showed up. Can you imagine? I had a teacher, Mrs. Dawson. I haven't seen her since the third grade. Figured she'd moved or died. I, I mean, it's not easy to lose track of someone in this town, right? And today, I'm looking at her in the crowd, all alive and healthy. Imagine, right? And the crowd was huge. It wasn't even a crowd, more like a whole river of people. I mean, you look at all of them, and you can't even see the end. All the roads were blocked. Just thinking. <laughs> it's weird. There's this dead guy who's making it so an alive guy can't get his groceries on time, right? <laughs> I mean, I just wanted to say, I, uh... I really respect Sheriff Wells. He died a hero, right? Ask anyone. Everybody says he's a hero. But I'm just saying, I got a job to do. I don't want to lose it. Nobody wants to lose a job because it's not easy to find a new job in Sharpwood, right? So, uh, 
The money's right there in front of your nose. Jack, eh? Don't bother with the change. So, it looks like we know where... Mr. Nash, I... Thank Nash. you. It, it sounds like Jack. <laughs> I just wanted to say that you, you don't need to call Mr. Summers. I mean, he'll be yelling at me either way. I deserve it, right? <laughs> I'm just... Uh, mm. Oh, by the way, those uh, cigars you asked about... Mm, uh, Caesars, right? Mr. Summer said we normally don't have them in stock, but we can order them. Maybe it'll take a couple of weeks or so, but what's a couple of weeks when it's a quality product, right? I remember one day I was looking... Forget it. I don't know how long I'll be staying. Oh, I, uh... I hope. I, I mean... I hope that you won't be leaving too soon. You're like our best customer, oh, or at least one of our best customers, am I right? I know there's a lot of stuff going on. Lots of folks are leaving, even pale Charlie left, and he's even older than you. I, he's 90 or something, maybe even 100. I, mm. I, I, I mean, I, I'm sure you'll find yourself a decent job, right? <laughs> I, I mean, have a good, Good day, Mr. Nash. Mr. Nash, but it awfully sounds a lot like our pal Jack. So, this is the police too. We now know where Jack went after the end of This is the Police 1. We saw that in the last episode. And here, okay. Hey, Lily. So we're getting rid of this thing tomorrow? Uh, what? We do what? That drawing thing in the hall. We're taking it down tomorrow? I already called Uncle Dimitri. He'll cart it off for us. <laughs> Might even get a couple of bucks Whoa. for it. First, it's not a drawing. It's a tapestry, okay? A beautiful work of art. You didn't notice, did you? Second, it's hanging there for a reason. And third, and most important, we're... Oh, you mean that drawing in the hall. Great. I'll get a hanger tomorrow so we can put the TV up there. Maybe a VCR, too. W what do you think? Jesse, we are not taking down the tapestry. TV? That's not a bad idea. Sure, but I was thinking, well, you know, I... Thought we could put a snack machine here. You know, I'm tired of having to drive 20 minutes over to Bad Ears gas station for smoked cheese in the middle of work. <laughs> like, I've got nothing better to do, right? As if I, uh... <laughs> you see how much space that giant thing takes up? We can put a TV up, an arcade game, probably even a pinball machine. Speaking of which, my son moved in with his wife in Derry, so we've got an extra VCR. Only thing is, he took all his videotapes with him. So we can't... Oh, no. Tapes are no problem. I've got lots of tapes. Plus, if we tell the guys that everyone's bringing in a couple of movies, then we... Look, I just need you to... Hey, what kind of movies you got? All sorts. Bloody Shirt, Bloody Shirt 2, Bloody Shirt 3, Bloody Shirt 4, Hard Boiled Women, Demons on Fifth Avenue... And you've got that movie where this pilot is flying around the earth, but he's running out of fuel over the ocean, so he makes a deal with Satan, and Satan, Satan sends him to fight an army of skeletons, and the skeleton general, Ooh. you can't fuck with him. Yeah, that's the wind blows into hell. One of my favorites. <laughs> Sounds like without a good movie. Saying, that's every man's favorite movie. Am I right or am I right? <laughs> when I saw him at the end, when the girl throws the sword into the fire, my heart jumped out of my chest. Betty almost needed to call the ambulance. I swear <laughs> to God. You need to take better care of yourself, old man. I've also got this movie. It's actually a cartoon, but it's for adults, you know? This guy gets the ability to undress people with his mind. So he goes into work, and he works in a bank, and his boss is a real bitch. But the bitch has some great boobs, and she calls him over to her. Tomorrow. <laughs> it's a little bit uh, tomorrow. And unacceptable, guys. No problem with this quarterly report. Some kind of paper so, Pierce, this is our sheriff, on. Lily. What the hell, Gail? Sit down and get ready to type. We agreed. Lily, we'll finish that damn letter of yours tomorrow. And if we're lucky, we'll even... Gail, take off your stupid hat and get back to your desk. I'm the sheriff and you'll do what I say. I'm the sheriff. <sighs> Lily, you do know. You don't have to be such a bitch, right? Bad Ears gas station closes in half an hour, so if we don't finish this stupid letter in the next ten minutes, I'll be out of smokes until the morning. And if that happens, I'll be coming into work in a bad mood tomorrow. 
And if I come in to work in a bad mood, Just I... Just shut up and type. Okay, okay. I'm ready. And for God's sake, let's stop taking half an hour on every sentence, okay? First, read what you've got so far. Of course, we won't be able to pay you serious money. It's like we won't be able to pay you anything at all. But I hope that you feel the same as me, that the safety of our native town of Sharpwood is a question of duty and honor and not of material gain. No, no, not just the last sentence. Read everything from the beginning. <sighs> Lily, come on. We're Read it from the top. <sighs> Dear Captain Carter, I imagine you've already heard the sad news that has prompted me to write you. I'll be frank. This letter you're holding is a plea for help. The police department of Sharpwood right. was deprived. That's enough. I can't take it anymore. We'll just pick up where we left off. Do you think Captain Carter will even read this? <laughs> Lily, let's just finish it. And then... <sighs> they got him. The guy from the flower shop, remember? He's one of the neckties. We're sure this time. Where are they taking him? Are they bringing him here? They already did. He's here. Did he have the goods on him? Has he said anything? What What does he know? Well, you want to find out, or you're just going to sit there? There we go. Oh, we got a suspect. Looks like he's been roughed up some. A lot of chauvinist cops in this station, by the looks of it. What happened to him? Well, as far as I understand, he had a hard time getting into the car. <laughs> right. Didn't like getting out of the car, either. And he really didn't like the stairs. And when we handcuffed him, wow, that was no fun at all. And then when he sat down on a chair, he accidentally... Cut the shit, Charlie. <laughs> what? <laughs> the sheriff asked a direct question, and I'm trying... Get out! All of you! Lily, I think it'd be best if you just... What's the problem, Gail? Isn't it best if the sheriff interrogates important suspects? Isn't it great when the commander takes a personal interest in the work? Don't you think? Okay, guys, you hear that? Let's get, get out of here. <sighs> Got the fiery redhead of a sheriff here. All right, see how she goes. Oh, let's see what happens here. He's going to interrogate the suspect. Hopefully with the, hopefully with brass knucks. No, it's a good way to interrogate drug runners. Checkpoint. Wally Melton, you and your friends lured Sheriff's Sharpwood Sheriff into an ambush and killed him like a bunch of cowards. Yeah, that right. You and your neck... <sighs> hmm. I'm going to go with that one. What are you talking about? You're going to bring... Of the village police? Oh no, please, anything but that. Get your... Ooh, you dirtbag. I'm going to make you pay for that. Uh Oh Ooh Yeah, time to get the brass knucks out. Alright, uh, well, we were unsuccessful. Looks like old mate's got his torture case ready to go. You could at least hide the suitcase. What? Oh this? It's just Charlie, shut your trap. And get, get ready, ready to question the suspect. Shut <laughs> your trap and get ready to get ready to torture the guy. Lily, I just want I just want you to You do understand, Gail, that this will soon be over. All of this. You understand that, right? I know, Lily. I know. I need to finish writing that letter to Captain Carter. Would not want to be in her position. She's got a tough job. Anyway, let's see what... Oh, knock, knock. What's going on here? Oh, change of scene. Here's our mate. Our old buddy Jack. No secret that it is Jack Boyd. 
Hello, my name is Bogdan. Bogdan. Are you satisfied mm. with your water supply system? I bet you're not. I am here to solve your problem. I, uh, uh, uh excuse me, hammered. what? It's not so nice to run to the toilet outside in the cold, is it? Especially at our age. You go once, you go twice, and by then you've already frozen your butt off. <laughs> and it's lucky it's the only thing you've frozen off. Believe me, I know what I'm talking about. And you know what I'm talking about too, don't you? Uh, look, listen, this isn't my house. I'm just renting it. All the better. So the homeowner will pay for everything, while you will enjoy the new toilet in warmth and comfort. Are you... Uh, are you, uh, you are, are going to get yourself toilets? shot. You sell toilets at night? Don't be silly. They'll replace your whole water system. A new toilet in the house is... Well, it's the cherry on the cake. <laughs> You're right. I'm here a little after hours. Uh, Mr. Um, well, you see, our farm is just taking its first steps in this business, so I can only visit my customers after I'm done with my day job. But a toilet inside your house is doubly good at night, right? <laughs> Do understand your needs, sir. I myself had to run to the toilet outside for 20 years every night. But when I finally got a toilet inside my house, I... Please go. Just... just go. I want you to leave. I know what you're thinking. You think that in such a small house there's simply no room for a toilet. But I assure you, if you just allow me to come in for a moment... Leave right now. I'm asking you to leave. I just want to save both of us some time, that's all. I know that you'll change your mind. The next time you need to go in the middle of the night, you'll remember me and think, Damn, that guy was right. Good old A book, toilet man. in the house is what every adult man needs. So, why don't I've we... asked you to leave. You need to leave. Now. Leave. All right, all right. But I bet you won't last a week before you change your mind. I'm telling you right now, you won't last a week. It's like Jack's struggling pretty bad. He appears to be somewhat hammered. And a hammered man with a loaded gun is probably not the greatest thing to have around the house. Well, there's also nothing more useless than an unloaded gun. But anywho... <laughs> moving right along. Put some... Uh, music on, which we're hopefully not going to hear and get copyrighted for. Yeah, that's good. Um... Sorry, it's Ted. <sighs> the old fam. Dear Dylan, Oliver and Edgar, I'd give anything to be sitting with you on the porch of our old house, smoking a cigar, talking and passing the day. I know you have a lot of questions for me, so a lot of unpleasant questions. It's not hard to hear them in my head, but it won't be so easy to find the answers, find the right answers. All right, so, okay, so we're going to get to complete the letter. Is it true what they're saying about you? Dun, dun, dun. My only crime is wanting to take care of myself and my family. I'm just sorry it took me so long. What he was trying to do, he was trying to get his family back together. Why did you flee from Piggy Bank? It's not, e not that I ran away, I just needed time to regroup. 
Because when we when we finished the uh, episode, we were weren't close to getting arrested. We were okay. We killed the mayor and that, but I guess there was Lara's investigation, which Chaffee set up. Anyway, let's keep moving. I should not need an accent, but anyway, so <laughs> sorry guys. Why did Mum leave? Um, well, we could go with this answer because that's the truth. Uh, I'm gonna go with that one about the. Yep, that's a better, uh, better option. Did I have it? No, I wouldn't say that. For one thing, your mother had left, and it's strange to call a relationship between people an affair if they only talked on the phone. Yeah. Did you get in bed with? Why did I get in bed with the mafia? Uh. Yeah, it wasn't like we had any choice. I tried to take him down. We never actually shot anyone that we saw in that game. <laughs> How is it? His health is crap. Uh, uh, either way, new friends at my age. Don't lead anywhere except to. Uh, hmm. Why didn't you just retire? Yeah. What are you planning to do next? I don't know. Jack's too hammered to know what he's going to do next, to be brutally honest. But it's good to see he's alive. That's all I can say there. Alright, here's Billy. She's got the headphones on. I don't know if she's listening to the interrogation or just listening to Ghetto ah, Blaster. We could hardly shut the guy up. He wasn't so tough. I didn't even get to the phase three. Ooh, phase three, <laughs> phase three is where We I don't go. have a lot of time. They're moving their headquarters, but we should be able to nab most of them if we hurry. It's north of here, the old summer camp. But they never keep the goods at their headquarters. They always use a different place, usually an isolated house on the outskirts. Most of the time, these places have random tenants who don't even suspect that there's anything hidden under their floorboards. That way, the drugs can never be linked back to the neckties or the neckties to the drugs. You remember that little tavern called Frasetti? We went drinking there after graduation and broke that big mirror. Mr. Blaine's converted it into a house, and now he rents it out for almost nothing. Two weeks ago, an old man moved in, and under his floorboards, there's 27 kilograms of heroin. I'm starting to think that guy is leading us around by the nose. I'm betting there's four or five armed guards at the house. But you said it's a small place, right? Well, I bet there's two at least. I don't believe they just left the stuff under some old man's floorboards. Even if there is an old man living there, I bet he's in on it. Hey, maybe old man is just a nickname. What do you think? I bet he's a right cutthroat, hunkered down there, ready to ambush us. Maybe he already- Well, you and Corey, go check it out. Take two cars in case it's not just an old man living in the house. Whoever you find there, bring them in. And don't forget about the heroin. Rest of you will come with me to storm their headquarters. All right. Sound good to you, Lily? Don't think we have much of an option. All righty, here we go. We have a call. So this is the new version of the town map. So here we have... Okay, so, nice. There's our two guys. Okay, ah, cool. So you have to have a max amount of, um, levels for your officers to be able to send them on calls. That's really cool. Cool new feature. All right, let's send them. 
Now, they've only taken one car, they were supposed to be taking two, so I don't know what happened there. Anyway, here's Frosetti's out here, and I'm guessing Jack's the old man that's moved into the house. Da da de da, music that I don't think we can shut off for some reason, but anyway, hopefully we don't get copyrighted. We'll probably cut this sound down, because I don't want to get musicified. Yeah, that's it. Go for your unloaded gun, Jack. Because you're plowed. I'm for the sheriff's department. <laughs> ah, no. No. No, no, no. Look at this. <laughs> ah, no, well, just look, Corey. They couldn't find anyone better to watch the goods? Oh, they just didn't bother. Or are we missing something? What do you think, Corey? Think we're missing something? Huh? Is there some kind of special meaning to the fact that we've got drunk, dirty grandpa here sitting in the shack watching the goods? Maybe we need to crack the code here, huh? Well, any ideas where they hid the powder? How about you look around while I... <laughs> while I interrogate the suspect, huh? Uh. You. What's your name, old man? <laughs> Boy. What did you say, old man? You need to answer nice and clear when a police officer speaks to you. My name is uh, Nash. Uh, Warren Nash. I'll I, uh... tell you something, Warren Nash. Fifteen years on the force. I've seen all sorts of dirty shits. This town isn't exactly upscale, in case you haven't noticed. I've caught thieves, caught rapists, murderers, and drug traffickers. All part of the job, you know? I'm doing my job. Nice and easy. Like a professional. But here you are. This... this filth you're... You don't make it easy to be easy. Filth like you drives me up the wall. With scum like you, I can't... I... I just can't keep up the cold-blooded professional attitude. I just can't. You know why, Warren? Because... Oh, I'm sorry, Warren. I'll be just a second, all right? Shit! Charlie! What the hell? Do you want Corey, to... just look for the fucking drugs while I'm busy with the fucking suspect, okay? This guy's a bit unhinged. So, Warren, filthy things like you, you drive me nuts. Because you think that we'll never catch up with you. You think the police can't do anything. You think we just rescue cats from trees and help old old ladies carry their bags up to the porch. You, you think, you believe, you really, really believe that we'll never get to you. So you don't even have to try. You taking good care of the goods here, Warren? You ready for us here, Warren? Just waiting in ambush, Warren? You did fucking nothing, Warren! Fucking nothing! Because you thought we'd never come. But here I am, Warren. Here I am! What are you gonna do now, Warren? What's the big plan, Warren? Hey, I think I found something. You hear that, Warren? He found something. Next time, hide it better. Okay, hey, that's probably illegal, I'm guessing, in most places. Well, this looks like 27 keys of heroin to you? I... I would say there's somewhere between 26 and 28 keys. Well, well, th well that sounds like 27, right? Yep. Yep. Yep, looks like 27. So what are we thinking here? You load it up in the car and I'll pack up the old man. And any of this other junk we might need. Uh. Yeah, Jack's coming to in a cell.
not good for a cop. Uh, I'd like, uh, I need, I, I really need to talk to the sheriff as soon as possible. I'm Sheriff Reed. You can talk all you like, but if I were you, I'd wait for my lawyer, Mr. Nash. I don't, uh, you, you said you're the sheriff? That's what I said. I, uh, no, no, I'm just, I, are you Sharpwood, Sheriff? I'm the sheriff. You, uh, no, she's you the could, sheriff of East Bumble. do you have the authority to? Look, I'm wearing a shiny star on my chest. I'm sitting here in the middle of the night, and even though I'm exhausted, I'm poring over murder files that no one else wants to bother with. So yeah, I'm the sheriff. I may not be used to all this, and I'm not sure I ever will be, but I don't have another sheriff for you, Mr. Nash. You might as well accept it. Listen, Sheriff, uh, Sheriff Reed, right? Great, Sheriff Reed. Uh, I need to talk to the sheriff, and and you're the sheriff, so it's even better. I, I mean, older sheriffs sometimes. Well, that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I'm not. I'm not talking about that. I. Uh, I just want to say that there's been a mistake, and I want to help you out here because I. Yeah, because uh, there was a huge batch of cocaine hiding in your house. Hmm. You it's want like me to bug, believe eh? you didn't know anything it's about it? I rent that house. Cocaine? Only lived there a couple of weeks, and you, you know all that, right? It's easy to check, huh? Yeah, it's. Uh, uh, but but that's not important. It's it's not that I, uh, I. I'm trying. Listen, Sheriff Reed. You, you have to listen to me very carefully. I'm a policeman. Just like you, you know? Oh, so you must be undercover. Is that it, Mr. Nash? No, 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 that's... It's much more complicated than that. My name isn't Warren Nash. I, yeah, I already knew that. Your fake documents are so bad, they practically fell apart in my hands. If you... If you let me explain, I... <laughs> would you like to see my real document, Sheriff? Look, that humidor, you see it? What? That little box, the, the little wooden box on the table, see? Looks like a jewelry box. It's locked. We'll crack it open in the morning. Well, wouldn't you rather open it now? Please, Sheriff Reed, let's open it now, and, and I'll try to explain everything. I'm in a very difficult situation, and I'm asking you to listen to me. Just open the box, and you'll find my passport in there, my real passport. My name's Jack Boyd. The documents that say I'm Warren Nash, I bought them for 90 bucks at the rail station. Please, just open the box and I'll explain everything, please. You say you were a cop, huh? Yes, 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 I I was a cop. I, I was the chief of police, just like you. Look, it's a very long and complicated story, but I... I assure you, this is all just a huge misunderstanding. A and the fact that I've gone into hiding here... The fact that I'm here at all, it's a, its an injustice that I want to correct. And I'm asking you to help me. Sheriff! Sheriff Reed, let's talk! I'm begging you! You're in a bit of strife there, Jack. Wanted poster out for us. Sheriff Reed, let Do me... Do you even know what you've been accused of, Mr... Mr. Boyd? I... Let, let's just say I... I don't know if you know what happened in Freeburg last winter, but it had nothing to do with the law or justice. I was used. You and I... do understand that I have to report you to the feds, right, Mr. Boyd? Sheriff Reed, if you do this, you... 
you just continue this. I think, I believe that cops should help each other. So I just want to say, you seem like the kind of person We've who... known each other for five minutes, Mr. Boyd. I doubt very much that I've made any impression on you at all. Whatever you've got yourself mixed up in, I hope that... I hope that you find justice, if that's really what you want. But for now... But while I... For now, all I know is this. You're a criminal, and they're looking for you. Your... your folder. Your folder. That's a case file. Can, can I see it? Excuse me? I worked as a detective for years. Even when I was chief, I did half of my detective's work. Yep. If you... If you're having trouble with the case, I'm sure I can help. Cops should help each other. The cops should help each other. My exact words, right? You think... You you think that I... Listen, Sheriff Reed, what do you have to lose? You're the head of this police department. You've got to think rationally. I'm not trying to teach you how to do your work. I'm just... Well, just for a minute, forget about all that... The other... This whole awkward situation, okay? Right? You have an unsolved murder, and there's someone standing right in front of you who's offering to help. Maybe I'm an imposter, and I can't actually do anything. Maybe I'll even turn out to be a lunatic, scatter the file around the cell, and dance around like a wild monkey. But maybe, That'd be cool to just see. maybe, I really am an experienced cop who can help you find your killer. Don't you want that? Don't you want to give me a chance since you've got nothing to lose? Don't you want a real criminal in prison, not some sorry victim of circumstance like me? That's police work. Catching the real criminals, right? I guess I'm going, going crazy. crazy. <laughs> I like it. She's cool. This. She's cool. All right. So we've got a checkpoint, and we've got some evidence and some crime. All right. So let's. Uh, Read the clues. Ruth Ferguson, victim's wife. I was at the neighbors to borrow some salt. And I heard on their TV that there's some crazy maniac started killing and ripping. The journalist nicknamed him The Wrestler because he wears a wrestling mask. I usually don't pay any attention to the news, but this time I remember because I was leaving. I noticed a Latino man in the street with a big sports bag. And he was just taking off a mask. I got home and there's blood everywhere and Bob is nowhere to be found. You think that maniac came all the way out here for ripping? Katerina, the neighbor. Okay. That evening, Ruth came over to borrow some salt. It's funny. She works at the grocery store, but she's always missing something. She sat at my place for a while and said, and then said that she was going back to make dinner for Bob. I don't know how she put up with him. Typical man. He always walked around in a stupid t-shirt. Spent the whole day staring at the TV and yelling for Ruth to bring him more f another Frosty. I went to visit often enough and it was always the same thing. Recently, R Ruth decided to try being a ve vegetarian. She read in a magazine that'll make you live an extra ten years. Plus, you get to lose a few pounds. So she started cooking without meat. Beginning with vegetable stew. Though she thought she'd surprise Bob. But when he came home from work, he was yelling, What the heck is this? And without the meat. And I live next door, I could hear everything. They almost got into a fight. Okay. Victim's home. The bathroom is covered in blood. It looks like this is where the victim's corpse was butchered. Cool. Uh, storage. Store counter. The victim's body parts were neatly laid out on the counter as if it were a display set for all to see. There's a crumpled garbage bag under the counter. Traces of blood inside. Okay. The victim's throat was cut in a single confident motion. Death came almost instantly. There were no signs of struggle. The corpse was dismembered after death. Okay. I'm not believing the wife. Um, yeah, I don't think this is a uh, victim. Mm. I think the wife's the victim. 
Bob Finnegan and Ruth quarrel over soup. Mm, I think that's definitely one of them. Definitely think that's... Yep. Do you really want to press charges this... Yes. Totally don't believe her story. Look. Lily here. Come in. Can you grab the box of flashbang grenades and get over here? There's no time to lose. Lily. Copy. I'm on my way. Don't know what's going to happen here. It looks like we're moving over to the headquarters of the bad guys. So? I'm not seeing anything. Lily, it's time. Yes, just let me look at the plan. <sighs> Lily, we've got everything covered. Gail, I need to take a look at the plan. Gail, the plan? Lily, do you want to look at the plan or do you want to change the plan? I need to see the plan before plan I decide whether Lily. I need to change it. Hey. Head over the plant. Gail? On the bus. What part of chief? What what part of sheriff? Don't you get sunshine? Hand over, hand over the plan. Then I'm gonna change it. Cause you know reasons. Do 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 do. All right. So gather intel. Okay. Uh, Alright, so let's assign cops here. At every position, there has to be a cop. The appropriate skills or equipment necessary for the assault. Okay, cool. Alright, assault leader. Gail will lead the assault. Cool. We got over here. You know what? I'm going to take him out of there. Okay. And Hmm. Okay, we can't assign. Okay, it doesn't look like you can actually. Doesn't look like you can actually. Hey, I can assign him there, that's good. Okay, does that mean I can. No, so I can't assign him there. Okay. Hmm. Okay. All right. Let's try this guy. Okay, we can put him there. Cool. Put this guy over here. Cool. Now, I wonder if we can swap. No. Alright, so Gail's always going to be there. Alright, cool. Move him around a little bit. Alright. Oops. 
see what happens. Okay. Can't read any more of the information. No. Okay. That's all we can do. All right. Proceed. Hold down the mouse button. Yes, let's get him over here. Someone needs to go get Canaan. Does anyone know Canaan lives? Jesse, grab that blue bag over there. Bring it over here. I'll call him. Bring me that bag. I'll call Canaan. The bag, Jesse. Jesus, Jesse, we don't have time for that. Bring me that bag. No, 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 no come on. Lily, put pressure here. Press there and you don't let him. make it? You think he'll make it? Shh. Looks like Gail got shot. We need to put something under his head. He's dead, Lily. Lily, he's dead. Gail's dead. Now you can call Canaan. Damn. That was sad. Gail seemed like the only vaguely reasonable one in the entire station. Jack's stuff's been strewn all over the floor. And Lily's obviously taking it hard because they What was his name? I mean I mean the deceased officer. What's his name? Gail Greenberg. Were you close? No, but... No. We... We went to school together. Sheriff Reed, I... Sheriff Reed. Ha! Sheriff Reed. If my dad could hear you say that, he'd died of laughter. He'd laugh like a madman, choke on his favorite meatballs even. Sheriff Reed. Call me Lily. My aunt lived in Freeburg. She, she sold flowers, had her own store, a little shop. My mother and I used to visit during the summer. You have warm summers there, warmer than here. <laughs> Anywhere's warmer than here. So, what happened in Freeburg, Mr. Boyd? It's, that's a very, uh... <laughs> I'm sorry. F forgive me, Lily. I, I begged you for a chance to tell you everything, and now I don't know where to start. You were slandered? You could say that. So you aren't guilty of anything? I, uh, I'm plenty guilty, but, but not what I've been accused of. I was just a fool. A blind fool. You're right, Mr. Boyd. Uh, I'm sorry? The sheriff's job is to think rationally. I figured I might be a shit cop, but at least I can think rationally. Now I'm... Now I'm... Not so sure. Lily, listen to me. You aren't guilty of anything. I've been a police chief going on 13 years, and I can't say that I never... I, uh... Let's just say it's a difficult job. It gets complicated. And to put you in this position... It was, uh, I just want to say don't that... Don't be shy, Mr. Boyd. I don't make much of a sheriff. Is that what you wanted to say? Because I completely agree with you. Lily, listen to me. I'm a policeman. Whatever position I'm in now, whatever this is, whatever my official status, I'm still a policeman. I'm a policeman and I know how to do this job. And I will help you. Cops should help each other. Isn't that what we were talking about earlier? Don't you agree with me? Uh, uh oh. Jack! Duck! This doesn't look good. Uh oh. What was it you said, mm. Mr. Boyd? Maybe you're an mm -hmm. imposter, maybe you're crazy, but. but maybe. Mm. maybe you. I. honestly, I don't even know if I. Really? Why are you pointing that gun at me? Because you're a drunk, hobo-looking guy, Jack. You're not exactly convincing with the 
bullet. Can I get out of this cage? Lily? Yes, Mr. Boyd. Yes, you can get out of the cage. You, uh, you want me to... Well, I, I guess I'm asking. You want me to get to work? What is it you want me to do exactly? You can get some sleep in the break room. It's over there to the left, the dark green door. I'll still be here in the morning, and in the morning we... In the morning we... Well, we'll figure this out. Tomorrow you can gather up your things, Mr. Boyd. Yes, I just, uh, uh, this letter, I, I'd like to send it as soon as possible. This, uh, it's for my children. It's important. I can mail it for you. I, I don't mind. I've got a letter to mail myself. Lily, uh, I wanted what? to... You want to know if I'm going to call the feds? No, I won't call the feds. Do I realize that means I'm breaking the law? Yeah, I know. Do I understand that you could make a run for it at any time? Yeah, I know that too. I'll see you in the morning. Well, we're out of the cell. That's a start. And that's a checkpoint. It's now November 22, and I think I'm going to leave this episode here. It's a good introduction to where we're at with the game. Um, so I want to thank you all for joining us. If you enjoyed this uh, first episode of This is the Police 2, please remember to leave a like, thumbs up, all that good stuff. If you want to see more of This is the Police 2 and other games that we do on this channel, please subscribe and hit the notification icon. And comments, please feel free to leave comments because they are awesome and I really love everyone that leaves comments and I appreciate the support and feedback. It's really, really awesome. Yeah, so anyway, thanks again for joining us and until next time when we continue on to the next day and see what happens to Jack and Lily and the wonderful people of Sharpwood. Thanks again for joining us. Laters. Mm.